Hi guys, welcome back to For He Who Is Mighty. I am excited to be back. I haven't filmed in like two weeks and I missed it so much. I have so much to say, but we're still sticking to Felicia Masonheimer's book, Stop Calling Me Beautiful. Um, I want to finish this woman series and then I have so much to share with you guys about what the Lord has been doing in my life and what the Lord has been teaching me. I will be honest, it's been a really tough past two weeks, but I'm grateful and I'm pushing through and I'm trying to still seek the Lord and you know, life gets busy and life brings a lot of curveballs sometimes, but it just continually picking up your cross and seeking the Lord. And so that's what I'm trying to do, but let's get into the book and a chapter that is really near to my heart. I say this for everyone, but it's fine. It's because it's about anxiety and I've talked about this before in other videos and I've shared my thoughts, I've shared my struggle, I've told you guys about my just being vulnerable about how that's something that I struggle with personally. But Felicia Masonheimer goes into it and talks about it for a woman, like in a perspective of a woman. And just, I think she has a lot of good insight to share. Um, so I'm excited to share it with you guys. I'm sorry if you can hear Ashley and David in the background. So Ashley's over for my birthday. So they're over there watching football, but this is the only time I had to really like sit down and film. You guys, I have been non-stop and sometimes it's good to be like okay let's go 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 sometimes it's so bad and for me this week has been really bad um even though it's my birthday week it has just been a lot for my heart but i'm coming to the lord this weekend with like a heavy heart and with a tired heart something that i'm reminded of is that no matter how busy you are and no matter how tiresome you might be God is still faithful and God is still there. And I'm excited to be talking about anxiety because I felt so much anxiety this week and a lot of it had to do because I did not seek the Lord as much as I wanted to. I honestly barely even read my Bible this week. One way that I is a huge way for me to relieve stress and anxiety is playing tennis and David and I did not play tennis this week. I really have little time for me and David um, I felt like I didn't really get to like talk to him in a deep way and it was just very shallow and that is not good for my soul because I kind of just, I'm going through the motions and just trying to survive and that's not a good way to live. With all that being said, let's talk about anxiety and what Felicia Masonheimer has to say. So in previous anxiety videos that I've made, I've talked about ways that I've learned to cope with my anxiety. Some of those are exercise, so tennis is huge for me now. We just started playing tennis like two months ago, and it's been such a huge help. Um, before, I used to run um, and do like little workouts. Other ways is deep breathing, like listening to your breaths. Other ways, counting. I count in Italian and that really distracts my mind. Um, a huge way that I used to do, I don't do it as much now, is memorize Bible verses and I would just repeat it over and over and over again. Those are some ways that I would cope with anxiety and I talk about them in my other videos. But one thing that Felicia Masonheimer talks about is how we can do all those coping mechanisms. We can try them and do them and it'll help and it'll be good, but that is not the ultimate way to help your anxiety because you can take all the deep breaths, you can count all the numbers, you can go on so many runs, but at the end of the day, that anxiety should be given to Jesus. It shouldn't be something that you're in control of, something that you take the burden of, because Jesus already took that burden on the cross. Like We don't have to carry it with us. There is no lasting solution in taking deep breaths and counting and running. The lasting solution for anxiety is Jesus and seeking Jesus and surrendering that to Jesus. One thing that she talks about is how the way to overcome anxiety, and I am not dismissing anxiety because anxiety is a mental illness. And it's wild to me because right now I'm going through my mental health rotation and I have 12 hour shifts at a psych unit. And these people are schizophrenic, they're bipolar, they have psychosis, um, 
they have severe anxiety and depression, like severe. These people have tried killing themselves, they've tried killing other people, like these are people that are really mentally ill and there's just something going on with their neurotransmitters that is just not clicking the way normal people function. So it's been such a wild ride and that's something that I definitely am going to make a video about because I've been learning so much. But one thing is that they have severe anxiety, very, very bad anxiety. And I remember this scenario that happened while I was there. A patient, really bad schizo, came to the nurse and said, my heart is hurting really badly. I need some medication to help it because it's really bad. And I feel like I can't breathe. And I just need medication right now because I'm not feeling well. And I remember the nurse saying, okay so you're you're feeling anxiety aren't you and she goes yeah yeah i'm feeling anxiety i need medication for it and the nurse goes okay well we gave you your medication like an hour ago so let it help let it kick in and if it doesn't kick in let's work on your coping mechanisms what can we do to help you feel better and relieve the pain the patient goes um i can go shower i can try showering the nurse says yeah go shower go try showering here let me get your stuff so we gave her a towel her shampoo her stuff and she went to go shower after that she did not come back to the nurse she looked fine she was walking around she was watching tv with all this to say <laughs> i don't know why i said this story because we're talking about anxiety and anxiety is a real mental illness and it is a real thing but something that the bible teaches us and something that is so true is that jesus is the lasting solution to anxiety and Jesus is the lasting solution to everything, to anything, really. And that's because we know that God doesn't change. We know that God is faithful. We know that at the end of the day, God is in control. You know one thing that that patient was also doing? Besides, she wanted to go shower. She was reading her Bible. And I took the opportunity. I felt my spirit tugging at my heart. So what we do is we observe. We have to write like an assessment on patients. So we have to observe. We can't really, we talk to them, but... Um, sometimes you have to be a little bit uh, cautious because these patients can be really aggressive. So we, I, we were observing and I observed her reading her Bible and she was reading John. I think like John 12 or something. And in my spirit, the Lord was telling me, go sit down next to her and go talk to her about Jesus. And of course it took me like five minutes. No, it took me like two minutes. I was like, Lord, I don't want to. So this was a coping mechanism that she had reading the Bible and learning more about God. So I want to go sit next to her and I asked her, what are you reading? So this was a coping mechanism that she had reading the Bible and learning more about God. So I want to go sit next to her and I asked her, what are you reading? I asked her, do you have Jesus as your Lord and Savior? She said, I do. Um, and she told me about her life. She told me about how she went to church and that she did things that she shouldn't have been doing and now she is here. But I told her there is healing in the name of Jesus. That's the Jesus we both believe in. And I got to pray with her. So that was sweet. I don't know. For me, it's like mental illness is so real. But you guys, seeking Jesus is everything. Like it is everything. And we underestimate the power of it. I underestimate the power of it because like this week, I was so stressed out. I cried. It was hard, but I was so consumed of all the things that I had to get done that I forgot to seek the Lord. And I know that it's like, but it's the way the enemy works of distracting you and making you forget that the ultimate solution is Jesus at all things, for all things. Fighting anxiety is hard. I am not dismissing it. It is hard. I don't know if you struggle with it or you know somebody who struggles with it. It's really hard. But Felicia Masonheimer makes the point that the best way to fight anxiety is through having faith in Jesus. It is a constant, every day, choosing faith to overcome anxiety. Even though you do your coping mechanisms, that's great and that's wonderful and I know that they're great and wonderful, but it's still having faith and choosing Jesus because that is your biggest weapon, that is your biggest sword, that is your biggest way to overcome anxiety. The coping mechanisms are good, but that's not a lasting solution. The lasting solution is Jesus and trusting that he is good and that he can help me overcome anxiety. 
Um, so if that's the only thing you take away from this, I hope that it encourages you. Thank you guys for watching. I have... I'm done with Whole30 Tuesday, so today. Today's my last day. You watching this, not today that I'm filming, but it's my last day of Whole30. I don't know if you've watched my, one of my videos, but that I talk about how I did Whole30. I have so much to say about Whole30. I have grown so much. Like, the Lord just rocked me. Like, I'm so grateful for this time. I have a lot to say about that. I have a lot to say about the psych unit that I've been rotating in. Um, I just have a lot to say. But that'll come. I want to do one more video for the women's series. And that's about people pleasing and our reputation and our appearance and all the good things. That'll be next week and then I'll go over Whole30 and with the Lord, just an, a general thing. Maybe I'll do a QA. and a I don't know. We'll see. But thank you guys for sticking around. I hope you guys have a great day. Leave prayer requests down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye!